how to host a free website on Infinity Free. Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can host a free website using Infinity Free all online. So firstly, I want you to come on to infinityfree.net. So when you come on to infinityfree.net, you can see their web page and all their various features, like 99% uptime, completely free, no advertisements, any domain hosting, and also the fastest free hosting. So click on sign up now from over here. And then after that, that is gonna take you over to this page. So sign in or sign up quickly if you don't have any account and I'm gonna catch you guys in just a second. So once you have signed up successfully on Infinity Free, you will see this dashboard in front of you. So from over here, you can essentially see all of your accounts. So now from over here, you can simply create an absolutely free account by clicking on this button over here and then that is gonna basically take you over to this page. So from over here, you can essentially just simply get yourself a subdomain. So depending upon what you want your website to be about, simply put in a domain name. So I'm going to type in over here, blogging 101. And then I'm going to basically click on search domain to see if this one is available or not. And we're going to see if this is available. Yeah, so this is available actually. So I'm going to basically from over here, put in a password of my account. And I'm going to basically do this. I'm going to check this capture and click on create an account. So once I have done this, now I have essentially just created myself an account. So I'm going to click on view in client area. So now I can basically just simply do hosting for absolute fee using this particular platform. So how is that going to work? So now from over here, I want you to click on control panel. Now, once you click on control panel, now when the first time you click on it, you might be asked to approve or de-approve an email notification. Make sure to click on I approve and then you will see this particular dashboard. So now I want you to basically click on this search bar and I want you to type in SPAC. Now, once you type in SPAC over here, it might load up a couple of ads, but make sure to close those ads and click on check now. Now, if that doesn't work, scroll down, scroll down and open up this Softaculous Apps Installer. Now, once you open up the Softaculous App Installer, that is going to take you over here. So now we can essentially connect our domain name with any of these website builders. So we have MyBB, WordPress, Joomla, um, Abenta Card, like Concrete, CMS, Clip Bucket, and so many more options. So I want you to click on WordPress or basically any other that you are more familiar with. The process is going to be the absolute same. So I'm going to click on WordPress and click on install. And then from over here, I will be asked to basically choose the version that I want to install and also the URL that I am going to be getting. So I'm going to basically just simply scroll down. And then from over here, I can type in the name of my site, the site description, and then also the admin username and password. So I'm going to type in the username over here to something random that I'm just thinking about. And then also the admin password, I'm going to change it to just a set of random numbers. So once I've done this, then I'm going to basically select any one of these builders. So I'm going to basically choose the classic builder and then I'm going to select this particular theme and click on install. Now it is going to check the submitted data and WordPress is simply going to make us a system for our website. Now guys, this process is, is pretty straightforward. Now meanwhile, while that is happening, I'm going to come back over here and then I'm going to basically copy the URL of my website. So I'm going to take a look over here. So this is my URL of my domain. So I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to come back over here to see how much of it has happened. Yeah, so it has happened and I'm going to click on this particular administrative URL. So once I do that, that is going to take me over to the WordPress signing page. Now, if you see something else over here, well, then probably your URL got mixed up. So make sure to remove all of this and then simply from over here, make sure that the URL is exactly this particular URL. So I'm going to do that and then we will see that, that it is going to work. So once we do this, now again, we can see that very same thing. Now this is super weird. This doesn't happen necessarily, but if it continues to happen, well, then you can just simply type it in yourself. So I actually ended up changing the whole URL. So I made another website and this is the one that I'm going to be showing you in here. So basically WordPress is not that hard. WordPress is pretty simple. And when you come on over here, you can essentially just simply click on edit from the top right. Now, when you log in, you will see like, you know, 
all the things that I'm seeing. And if you were to click on edit from the top right on your website, well, then you can just simply like, you know, modify anything add anything in your website add videos add basically anything that you want to i mean like it is super super simple working with wordpress so i'm gonna basically type in over here hi welcome to my blog now, once i do this so i'm gonna make it look super cool now by simply choosing this particular font and then similarly over here i am going to to simply select all of this text and then I can essentially just simply replace this or, or do whatever I want to. And then I can simply update it. And now I will have it linked to my URL, which is going to be the URL that you guys saw in the first page. So coming back to WordPress, going to click on view pages and then going to click on my blog. And then this is going to be my URL where this particular blog is located. So, I mean, honestly speaking, super, super simple. And then from the left side, you can essentially like add more stuff. You can even add themes over here as well. And then all of this is going to be hosted over here on infinity fee. So like you won't be paying for hosting at all. I mean, this is not going to be the fastest server in the world, but still it is going to be far better than something that you could get for like absolutely free anywhere. So guys, that is pretty much how you can actually like, you know, do hosting. Now you might need to buy an SSL cer certificate. So for that, click on the free SSL certificates and then that is going to take you over to the free SSL certificate panel and then simply add a SSL certificate. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to paste it and then let's see what this says. So now we can just simply like, you know, choose our provider for the best custom domain and everything, but our domain is not exactly a custom domain. So I'm gonna choose this one, the best for free subdomains, and I'm gonna click on request SSL certificates. So once we do this, they are gonna provide us with an SSL certificate and our website is gonna be secured. Now, why is this necessary? Well guys, whenever you visit a website which does not have SSL subscription, your Chrome gives you an alert, which basically tells you that like, hey, we don't want you to visit this website. This is not secure. And that is going to like drive so much traffic away from your website, whether that be a blog, whether that be an e-commerce store, whether that be anything. I mean, like that just ruins the whole website feel. And again, if you want to buy a custom domain, you can simply like search over here on their domain section by clicking on the domain checker and you will find yourself really, really nice domains. I mean, I myself have four letter domains. I mean, those are super rare, but I do have them and they can actually sell for quite, quite a lot of money as well. And they look super attractive too. So I'm going to type in super flicky. And then once I search this, I will be able to see if this particular domain is available so like they are saying that you have to put the extension as well so i'm going to put the extension too and then we're going to see if this is available so they are saying that this is not assigned to an infinity free account so you might need to check on other services like godaddy or maybe even like you know the other domain providers but overall this is how it works and i'm sure by now you guys know exactly how you can do free hosting and also set up all of your website for absolutely free using WordPress and cPanel. So guys, this was the video. And if this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.